What's up? It's been a while. If you've been following my videos, then you know that I'm now in Berlin. Anyway, that's that. This video is all about my rook piercing. I got it done on the 27th of July of 2018. So it's been almost eight months. I've done a two month update video and I've also done a video about my experience getting it. I got it pierced with implant grade titanium, just for the record. All my jewelry is implant grade titanium. It's the best, it's amazing. If you have any issues with piercings, just stick to the really good stuff, as in implant grade titanium, implant grade materials, and you'll probably don't run into too many issues. So, in regards to my rook piercing, I've actually dealt with an infection. I knew that it was an infection because I was in pain for two days. And then I got a topical antibiotic cream. I used it for seven days and it went away. The pain was so intense. It kept me awake at night. I was just a freaking mess for two days until I managed to hit the pharmacy and get my antibiotic cream and then I was good. There was also yellow gunk coming out of my piercing. It was just really unpleasant and I don't wish it to anyone. Other than that though, it's been doing great. There's still loads of crust. Sometimes I accidentally sleep on it and then it's a little, you know, bummed, a little red, a little irritated. But other than that, it's been smooth. Let me show it to you real quick and bear in mind, it's probably crusty. It might be red because I cleaned it earlier in the day so there still might be some redness from that let me show you this little guy here is my rook piercing and i'm not gonna touch it because it's not fully healed yet you should never ever touch a piercing that's not yet fully healed it's oops well there we go it's really just a bad idea this is my rook piercing this little guy over here i really love the look of it especially in combination with my other piercings and I'm really glad that I got it. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I think it's a beautiful piercing. I'm actually thinking of getting it on my other ear, but I also plan on getting one or two forward helixes, so I'm not sure if there would be enough space. My ear might look overcrowded. However, those things aside, I would definitely get it again because it's a beautiful piercing and it's also very well hidden. So I actually don't bump into it all that much because it's in a very hidden place. It's not out there, it's not sticking out and even when I sleep I usually have zero issues with it. That being said, I sleep on my stomach so I don't sleep on a pillow because that would be uh, kind of really bad for my spine. Anyway, in my experience it would be a really bad idea so I don't sleep with a pillow and I sleep on my hands and usually I don't sleep on either one of my ears. I simply sleep on my face and my ears are up in the air, just hovering over my sheets, if that makes sense. So even when sleeping, I don't really have any issues because of course they're not yet fully healed, so I wouldn't dare sleeping on my piercings. Of course, sometimes it happens by accident, but that's that. And yes, I'm a little rusty when it comes to filming. I really just wanted to film this real quick. If you've got a rock piercing, then I would love to hear your experience because it's going to help other folks who are thinking of getting a rock piercing or who have issues with their rock piercing. Of course, if you are experiencing difficulties with your rock piercing, then please seek a professional piercer. And that might not be the person who actually gave you the piercing because if they weren't, overly reputable, then it might be a good idea to seek someone who is. Just putting it out there, you know. And as far as Berlin is concerned, I highly recommend Naked Steel. It's a great piercing studio, just in case you're looking for a piercer in Berlin. Naked Steel, highly, highly recommended. That was it for my rook piercing update. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Oh, and I'll probably do another update. It's probably gonna take a year plus to heal. So I will do another update in a handful of months. Bye.